Hello guys, my name is Madhur and welcome to my channel. This is the 19th tutorial in the series of tutorials on Unix shell scripting. Now, in the last tutorial we learned to use variables in our shell scripts. Now, what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to experiment with variables in the terminal. We're not going to use a shell script for that. I'm just going to show you guys uh, how you can uh, play with your variables and I particularly want to stress on the fact that variables uh, can hold uh, different kinds of values and you don't have to mention the kind of values that they can hold in your shell scripts at all so what I mean by that is if suppose I wish to create a variable called a and if I want to assign it a value say 25 which is a number if I press the enter key and if I then use the echo statement and call my variable a with the dollar symbol and press enter I see that my value gets printed now if suppose I wish to change the value of a from 25 to a string then I can do that and uh, I don't have to remove my variable and then create it again to do that I can simply change the value by assigning it a new value like hey what's up and of course the string has to go inside double quotes and when I press the enter key and echo my variable again then I see the new value and what basically happens is when you create a variable and when you assign it a value even if you use uh, numbers in your value the shell stores the variable as a string and if you want the shell to use the numeric value that the variable holds then you have to tell it in advance and when we check out uh, commands like uh, expr or bc for uh, mathematical expression evaluation at that time we'll see how that's done but for the time being, just remember that uh, if you want to change the value of your variable, then you can simply assign it the way you assign it the first time. So that was it. And now, uh, as in the last tutorial, we're going to create a script file and we're going to do something with it. And uh, this file is, let me first save it so that I get syntax highlighting. I'll call it ss4.sh. Now save it in my home directory. And there you go. And this file takes a file name as an argument and renames it. Yeah, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to create a shell script that takes a file name as an argument and renames it, right? and uh, the first thing that we're gonna do in this file is uh, we're gonna use the mv command because that is the command that is used to rename files and then we're going to use positional parameters now what are positional parameters uh, positional parameters are basically system variables that hold the values that we provide at the time of uh, running a shell script that is when you type in your sh command and then you type in the file name the script that you are executing anything that would follow the script name would be the arguments to the script and they would be stored in uh, system variables and uh, well you'll get a hang of it in just a moment I'll use dollar one because dollar uh, one is the first uh, positional parameter that is used and it will basically hold the name of the file that um, we provide as an argument to our script and then uh, we'll uh, ask the user to provide us uh, the alternate name and uh, you know that can be stored in dollar two and uh, then we'll basically display our second file using cat so that's what we're gonna do in this script and uh, before we execute it, let me first create a script file, uh, so, uh, sorry, a regular text file, and I'd call it test. And uh, I'll just put in some text in it, like uh, this is a test file. And uh, I see where it is in my home folder, it's right there, and uh, it'll soon be renamed and uh, I'll execute my script file ss4.sh and I'll provide the name test as the first argument and the second argument will be the new name and this will be stored in $1 and the shell will use $1 as a test 
and whatever will follow will be stored in dollar two so wait wait a second let me first execute it and show it to you guys now I'll call this file uh, output and when I press the enter key I see that I get the output of my test file but when I run ls I see that I no longer have my test file in my home directory but I have a file called output so my file has been successfully renamed now if suppose I do not want to provide the second file name in my uh, as an argument but if suppose I want to ask the user to provide the second file name to me while the script is executing then that's also possible uh, provide a file name provide a file name and then uh, I'll read it read name and then maybe I can do uh, wait a second and we can go from here we can place MV here MV dollar one space dollar name and then cat dollar name I can save this file let me first clear my terminal so that we don't get confused with the output and I don't have to provide output as a file name this time but wait a second we don't even have our file test so I'm gonna use output as an argument because I renamed test to output and provide a file name I'll call it random when I press the enter key I see the output of random and when I run ls I see that I no longer have output but I have random as a file so there you go I wasn't at my best at explaining uh, the concept of positional parameters but I'll make up for it trust me on that I'm running out of time in this tutorial but in the next tutorial we're gonna continue our discussion on positional parameters and we'll probably prepare another shell script so thank you so much for watching this tutorial and I'll see you guys in the next one and uh, please subscribe to my channel